Hi guys, Pop Stitch here. So today we will be going through our pickups from our recent pop hunting. So tara, simulan na natin. Now here are the new arrivals. So we've got Hyacinth Hippo here from Fantasia. We have Coca-Cola Polar Bear. We have a couple of Dumb and Dumber Pops here. And going down here, oh, we've got the new DC Blacklight Series Pops. We're going to get all of them. What else do we have here? Down below. What are these? We've got the spicy oodles. Now we're here on the other side of the shelf. Uh, Rugrats Pops. We've got this Frankenstein. Monsters. And what else do we have here? There's a couple of Wonder Woman pops. What's this? We need a Pooh E or the Diamond one. some more Marvel Pops here. Oh, that Walmart exclusive Magneto. Now we're here at the other Pop Culture store, the Pop Culture Collector Gallery. So here are the exclusives, the new exclusive Pops. There's the Donald Duck. We have the MTV Moon Person, the gold one. We have Carnage. We missed this one online. Better grab one of these. What else do we have? The Hello Kitty. Deadpool. More Deadpools here. Some Frozen. Oh, that's Martin. Martin jacket. Cutie corn. Wally. Here on the other side, Dwight Root, the spam. Dumbo. More carnage. For oh, this Mandalorian Super Commando. And. Oh, this Rudolph's here. Going to get one. So we just visited Pop Culture again to check out the new arrivals. And now I am just going to show you some of our pickups from there. And the first one is the Blacklight Carnage. So here number 678 and this one is a Pop Culture uh, exclusive one. So there have a closer look at the box, the pack and on the other side. Right, so as you can see here, the design of the box is just exactly uh, similar to the ones that we have here at the back. So you can see we got all the first four Blacklight series from the Marvel line and yeah we're just missing the Spider-Man one right so let's check this one out oh yeah this one has an insert yeah just this black black cardboard or yeah, something like a cardboard there all right so here you go have a closer look we actually missed this one again online. I think it was released a couple of weeks ago, but luckily we found this in store. Let's go through all of its details. So it seems like they use exactly the same mold as the Carnage at the NYCC 2018 one, and they just painted it with the neon colors, which gives it a black light effect. So as you can see, its entire body has turned into a pink and blue instead of the original red and black color. And it has a yellow or like yellowish green eyes 
And this one easily sold out in the Funko website as well. I think it just lasted a couple of minutes, probably less than five minutes. Yes, yeah, something like that. Now, the next one that we've got here is another Blacklight series, and it's Batman. Batman, the animated series, number 369. And as you can see, it has an additional sticker there. It says Blacklight Glow. So there, so have a closer look at the box again, there at the back. And uh, there are some city lights there, some towers and buildings. So, yep, and there's three other characters. Oh no, two more characters from this line. So we got this Batman, then the Joker and the Harley Quinn. So there, on the other side. So yeah, let's check this one out. Right, so it has this black uh, inside as well, just like with the previous one. All right. Oh, I prefer this one. I like this more than the first, I think, because it's not bubble head. Right, so here, have a closer look. So this is Funko's first set of DC Comics Blacklight series. So as you can see, the design of these pops are based on the cartoon of Batman the Animated Series. But of course, it has different color because as you can see, this one has the same color scheme as the Marvel or Blacklight ones. So in this Batman here, instead of just a purely black, its color became a combination of a blue, black, and purple. And the color of its skin turned orange. And of course, the most important thing is that Batman logo on his chest. Right, and uh, these ones will be released in the US as a Hot Topic exclusive, but I haven't heard any news yet on when they're going to release them. But if you want to get them as early as now, they are already available through the Pop Culture website, and I'm gonna put the link on the description below. Now, the next one that we've got here is the Joker. So there, number 370, and there, have a closer look at the box, at the back, and on the other side. So let's check this one out. Right, so here you go have a closer look right so the colors of this pop version of Joker here looks very similar to how he looks like in the animated series but the color is just more vibrant than that like in this blacklight version he's still wearing the purple tuxedo with the orange uh, vest underneath and the blue ribbon on his chest What's different is the color of his skin. Like in this one, his skin turns into yellow, just like there on his face, his hands, and both of his feet. And the most interesting detail for me on this one is the card that he's holding on his right hand. That pink Joker card. I also like his facial expression and his pose here. Right, so there you go. Now the next one that we've got here is Harley Quinn. So there, number 371. So have a closer look at the box at the back and on the other side. Right, so let's check this one out. Right, so there you go. Have a closer look. So this version of Harley is when she's wearing her clown costume. And instead of the red and black, the color of her costume here is black and pink. And just like with the Joker earlier, the color of her skin turned into yellow instead of white. And my most favorite part on this one are those diamonds printed on her costume. I really like these ones. I like the idea of Funko of releasing these Blacklight series ones. I guess this doesn't stop here. I think they will add more Blacklight version of these DC superheroes. So how about you guys? Which characters do you want them to feature? For me, I wish they will add a Wonder Woman and Superman. Right, so there you go. Now the next one that we've got here is Rudolph, the pop culture exclusive one, number 25. So there, have a closer look at the box, at the back, and on the other side. And yeah, this one is a fantastic plastic one. Right, so let's check this one out. Right, so this one's heavy. So there, have a closer look. This has just recently been released in the US as well and I saw some photos online with the Funko Shop sticker showing that this one is limited to 3000 pieces only. Now I'm having lots of thoughts or questions about how it works. Like is it really just 3000 pieces only or is it just 3000 pieces in US store only with the Funko Shop sticker and the pop culture ones have separate numbers? 
or the pop culture exclusive ones are already included in those 3000 pieces pops. Like you will find 2500 pieces with the Funko sticker, then there's 500 pieces with the pop culture sticker. Anyway, those are just my thoughts and I don't really know unless Funko will answer our questions. Right, so let's go through of the details on this Rudolph Funko Pop and let's start there from the top. Just so you can see there's a logo on the lead. Right, so actually this is already the third version of this noodles line. Can we call it noodles line because they're all noodles. The first one is oodles, then we have this spicy oodles and this one is the newest addition to that line. And it's not just spicy, this one is extra spicy and a chicken flavor as well. I just hope that we can actually taste them but anyway, I won't do that. Then right there at the front, you can see some noodles sticking out. Then the cup itself has a pair of eyes and the beak of a rooster. And just under its beaks, there's Japanese characters printed on it. I can't actually read Japanese so yeah, I'm not sure what it says. And right there at the back, there's the word hot. And my most favorite parts on this one are those chopsticks on its right hand. And there's a small flame there on the left. Right, so overall, I really like this one. There's lots of amazing detail in it. Right, so there you go. So what are your thoughts about this, guys? Just comment down below. And if you like our video for today, please hit the like button. And please don't forget to share and subscribe. So that's all for today. Bye. Thanks for watching.